I'm Sasha Chua, and here are 10 Emacs News highlights for 2021. If you want to follow the links, check out the wiki page at emacsconf.org slash 2021 slash talks slash news. First, the Emacs developers are currently working on Emacs 28.1, which will be the next major release. John Wigley will share more Emacs 28 details in his update, so check out his talk. Andrea Corrala is giving a talk on native compilation, too. 2. Org mode is now at version 9.5. New features include a library for managing citations, asynchronous session support for code blocks, and better control of your agenda's appearance. If you've been getting your org packages from org ELPA, you can update your configuration to get org from new ELPA and org contrib from non-new ELPA. The new release of the org roam package should be a faster and more consistent way to use org to manage a knowledge base. And org roam UI looks pretty snazzy. The best way to keep up with org changes is to check out the blog This Month in Org. 3. New Magit Major Release Jonas Bernoulli has split some functionality into other packages so that Emacs list developers can use them, such as Magit Section, Transient, and Forge. Here's an example of using Magit Section to manage groups of buffers. You can learn more about Transient in the talk on self-describing smart domain-specific languages, or DSLs. 4. In terms of smaller packages, there's been a lot of activity around completion. Karthik has a great diagram, and Prot explains how things work together. I think the idea is that instead of having one large completion system like Helm or Icicles, you can choose a few different smaller packages and configure them to work together. If you're curious about this, you might start with either Selectrum or Vertigo, which are both completion interfaces, add Marginalia for more information, and try consult for many useful completing commands. There are so many options, so it might be useful to check out some discussions. 5. Embark is usually mentioned as part of that group of packages, but it's well worth looking into even if you use a different system. Embark lets you have context-sensitive shortcuts that work on things in buffers, mini-buffers, and even collections of things. You can also use it when you start doing one command and then decide to do a different one instead. For more ideas, check out 15 ways to use Embark. 6. Now that there are Emacs list bindings for TreeSitter, we can work more easily with a structure of code instead of just using regular expressions. Check out the talk on tree edit and structural editing to learn more. You can use TreeSitter for intelligent snippets that get information from the code around them, editing list of expressions, and navigating text objects in evil mode. That's when Emacs is pretending to be VI. Dynamic modules help us add more to Emacs than Emacs Lisp easily offers, such as structural editing in OCaml and using Rust to figure out parentheses and indentation for Lisp. 7. Collaborative editing is now much easier since the CRDD package is in new ELPA. It allows multiple people to edit the same file over the network using their own Emacs. This means you can keep your own config and key bindings. Yay! Watch the Emacs Research Group talk for an example of how several people use it to work together. 8. In case you're still under the impression that Emacs is just a text editor, some folks have been working on pretty neat graphical experiments. These OpenGL bindings for Emacs Lisp use an embedded X widget, while other prototypes use the SVG support that's built into Emacs for Gantt charts, scribbles, and even diagrams. The color picker from that one looks particularly useful for CSS. If you want to play around with adding SVGs to your files and interfaces, SVG icon and SVG lib might be good places to start. Of course, there's always a place for ASCII art, especially with a new boxy package that you can use for org files, iMenu navigation, and even things in real life. 9. There have been a lot of great posts, videos, and live streams about Emacs this year. In addition to the ones from System Crafters, Emacs Elements, and Protosilaos, John Kitchen and Mike Zemansky are back! Hooray! And Martin Barkovsky has just finished writing an intermediate textbook on Emacs Lisp, too. 10. Lastly, if you want to chat with other Emacs folks and get help on Emacs, org mode, or other topics, the Emacs and org mode internet relay chat or IRC channels are now on the Libera chat network instead of Freenode. If you'd like to add something I've missed, please add them to the wiki page or email me at sasha at sashachua.com. That's all for this quick review. Enjoy the rest of EmacsConf 2021!